like so um, tranquil and peaceful. I know people get stressed before they fly. <laughs> Just come here yeah. for like a couple of minutes. It's like really stunning. You do not think <laughs> that you're in an airport. I must say that this does not feel like an airport. It feels like we're back uh -huh, on Orchard Road at a mall. Good morning from another day in Singapore. Unfortunately, it's our, last. it's our last day. So we just got dropped off. Um, yeah, we just checked out of the hotel quite early so that we could actually spend some time at the Jewel in the airport, which is really yes. amazing. So we've given ourselves two and a half hours. Yeah, so Changi Airport is the best airport in the world for the 12th time. And we are going to see the Jewel. That's the main attraction. So it has the world's tallest indoor waterfall. And apparently it cost $1.3 billion to build. So let's see what the fuss is about. But first, we need to check in all our luggage. So let's get that done. The airport has four terminals. So just take note of where you are taking off from. We are taking off from terminal four and the jewel is in terminal one. So we are gonna have to take a shuttle to terminal four, but luckily, there is a fast check-in in Terminal 1 on the ground floor where you can check in your bags for certain airlines and that makes it way easier so you don't have to go to the other terminal and then come back, check out the jewel and go back. So we're going to try and check in here now. Check in advance if your airline does offer this because it's only a few airlines that have this fast bag drop or self-check-in, whatever it's called. Um, we are flying Air Asia, so they do have that. So maybe I lied. It seems that Air Asia is not here anymore. I've just asked someone, so I don't know what we are going to do with our bags. Okay, so we've actually found it. It's actually in, in on the first level of the Jewel, so not in Terminal 1. You just cross over to the Jewel, and then there's this whole check-in area for Emirates, Scoot, Singapore Airlines, and a whole lot of other airline so it's really quiet so we are gonna check in so we've printed our bag tags and then you just put it on yourself okay and that's our boarding process you just go over here and drop your bag Okay. Bye. Okay, so we are approaching the jewel. I don't hear any water, so I'm not sure if it's on. Yeah. Wow. It reminds me a lot of the flower dome. I mean, cloud forest. Just a lot of greenery. And this up here I think is where the train from each from terminal to terminal passes. Wow. Can you believe this is in an airport? tranquil and peaceful i know people get stressed before they fly just come here yeah. for like a couple of minutes it's like really stunning you do not think <laughs> that you're in an airport if you're standing here looking at this so i'm not sure what time the actual water starts is it more than that it yeah it falls it? falls from here but wow this is so cool this looks like a park somewhere in the city, not at the airport.
I must say that this does not feel like an airport. It feels like we're back uh -huh, on Orchard Road at a mall. It's like just got coffee shops, there's Foot Locker, and these are not small shops. Like normally airports have these small boutique kind of outlets, but these are full on shops. Like look how big Foot Locker is. There's a massive Starbucks there. This is Singapore's flagship Starbucks. So let's check that out. So incorporating the greenery like the rest of Singapore. Wow, this is cool. And there's a little robot. I don't know if it serves you or if it takes your drinks away. So we've just given ourselves about two hours in the Jewel, but you can literally spend a whole day here. There's a whole skywalk. Uh, it does cost money, but there's a skywalk, which I think is above the tree area in the Jewel. There's a cinema in here. I think there's a pool. Um, there's a lot to do, really a lot to do. And there's also like a capsule hotel if you want to stay the night here. As you walk through, you get glimpses of the main attraction. Literally a forest in the airport. So if you want to visit the Jewel, just remember that don't go through security or passport control. You either carry your bags and put them in a baggage locker or you do a fast drop if that's offered by your airline, a early bag drop. But don't go through passport control and immigration because once you're in your terminal, you can't come to the Jewel. So just keep that in mind if you want to visit the Jewel and the attractions there. Wow, look at this door. It like looks out into the forest. This place is literally a big mall. So if you can see the net on the top, that's the sky walk. Oh, I'm not sure what it's called, but you can walk up there. Just trying to show you guys how big this place is. It definitely does not feel like an airport. It feels like a shopping mall. So if you felt that your time in Singapore, you didn't shop enough, you can come early to the airport and get your fix in. This is the ice store. It's huge. I've read that this is the biggest night store in Southeast Asia. It goes upstairs as well. Okay, so this says Canopy Park. I'm sure this is where the main attractions are. Yeah, this is the park. Okay, so this is on the highest floor of the Jewel. And yeah, I'm, I know some of the stuff they charge you for access. But let's just see what there is. Okay, so there's a, a walking net, a bouncing net, and then there's slides. And those are the prices. We're not going to do any of those. I actually thought it would be cooler and air conditioned in here, but it's really quite hot. So there's some restaurants up here as well. Let's go see the view from here. And this is the view from up here. Wow, look at this view. Wow oh, guys, can you believe this is an airport? Oh, there's like acorn vents down here. So good. 
Wow, that is beautiful. I can see why this is the number one airport in the world. I see a cotton candy vending machine. Never seen one like this before. And this is a cleaning robot. So if you're coming here in the day, just know that it only starts at 11, 11 a.m. And I think it ends at 10 or 11 in the evening as well. Wow, so cool. What did you think of that? Beautiful. It's really amazing. It's tranquil. It's so nice. And the fact that it's in an airport. Yeah. I would pay to see that. Like it, like just how we went to the cloud forest um, and you can see it's the center of the attraction here like all the restaurants look out into it beautiful you literally do not feel like you're in an airport you feel like you're in some high-end mall um, yeah it's really something you should see just bear in mind that it starts at 11 a.m. only so if you're coming before that you're not gonna get the water and this is the world's tallest indoor waterfall at 40 meters tall. It's really cool from every angle you get to see the main attraction in the jewel. We are now in B1 which is a basement and if you look ahead this is where the vortex comes down and flows through. Wow, <laughs> that's super cool. Okay, and there's nice food selections here. There's even a supermarket. Don Don Donkey is a supermarket which is quite common here. We see the signs all over. Wow, look at this. So we are at a place called So Pho, uh, Vietnamese, and I'll show you the things we're gonna have. So I'm gonna have the lemongrass chicken with rice. And Lauren is gonna have the fried fur noodle. That looks really good. Oh, good choice. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna get stuck in here and then we gotta head through immigration and check in. View of the rain vortex. Okay guys, so we are done at Changi Airport. We've left the Jewel and taken the shuttle bus to T4 where we've checked in now. This is T4. It's really nice. Not as exciting mm. as I think the it's Jewel. like the smaller yeah. airlines or more like if I can call it local flights in the area probably mm. um, departing from yeah. this terminal. But wow, the Jewel <laughs> just if you you're transiting Yeah, whether you're transiting or just leaving Singapore, just plan give yourself two or three more hours you don't have to do the paid activities just just see the jewel and the rain vortex and it will be well worth it it's stunning it's something really nice to see and to be honest the shopping here 
if you don't want high-end brands, was actually better than Orchard Road. We found Orchard Road very high-end and like unaffordable stuff. We were just looking for like Nike, Adidas and those kind of things. But yeah, this is it. Sad to leave Singapore. Yeah, you can also just comment a little bit further on the airport um, besides the jewel. Um, super easy check-in now through yeah, it um, took us yeah, two was, minutes, literally. You scan your own boarding pass and your passport. And that, that's immigration, put, and so no your, lines. Yeah, you put your baggage through the little carousel, I mean, the little scanner. Scanner, and that was it. So yeah. it's quite cool. Yeah, that was amazing. And the auto baggage check in was quite easy, also. Our bags obviously gave us a problem, but if. A person, like a staff. Yeah, if it wasn't us. for that, it would have taken us two minutes as yes. well. So really amazing and we've had an amazing time in singapore if you haven't checked out our previous videos check those out because we did a lot in singapore so to wrap up singapore it's an amazing place very clean very safe very safe very expensive <laughs> <laughs> but also a lot to do there's yes. a lot of entertainment um, yes. it's so classy it's it's amazing it's, it's beautiful it really is uh, our main expense, well, besides food, was transport because we took taxis everywhere. So you can save a lot of money if you take the MRT and the SMRT, which is the bus service. That costs a fraction of what taxis would cost. But we found that the MRT just takes too much of time to get to the station, then to get to the train, find your line, then get out, and then walk to wherever you want to go. So. Just to save time, uh, if you can afford it, obviously the taxi is the easier way to go. But don't get us wrong where Singapore is expensive, but it it's affordable. I mean, you can do it if you want. So yeah, that's it from Singapore. We are heading next to... Malaysia. Yes, we're going to KL. We're going to spend a few days there. So that will be in our next video. So be sure to check that out. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one. Before we go, guys, if you want to check out the next video, we are actually staying in the Four Seasons in KL. And Lauren doesn't know it's her birthday, so I'm surprising her. Um, so if you want to check that out, that's going to be in the next video. We will be checking out the Four Seasons in Kuala Lumpur. So, yeah, thank you for watching.